The GOP will take complete control of Capitol Hill with the largest House majority since the election of 1928. But the banner year for the House Republicans, well, it's not starting out the way they had hoped. The third highest ranking House Republican majority whip Steve Scalise from Louisiana is under pressure. He's calling other House members right now to do damage control. Scalise admitted to having given a speech in 2002 when he was a state representative to a white supremacist group, one founded by a former Ku Klux Klan leader named David Duke. The question is not whether Steve Scalise is racist. The question is whether Steve Scalise knowingly courted racist votes. And, and to say you don't know who David Duke is when you're a Republican in Louisiana in 2002, after a decade before David Duke won the Republican nomination, and even in 1999, Scalise was quoted by roll call as saying that while David Duke was unelectable, that they shared some conservative values. Once you make a commitment to that group, you're not talking about your policies. You're pandering to a racist element in the state. That is heavy, heavy baggage for a party that knows it needs to reach out to minority voters. Yes, Steve Scalise is very well liked in the conference, and it's a jump ball moment. But this is going to be one of these things where can they carry that heavy baggage associated with David Duke as they try to rebrand and reform the party? As news comes out, for example, that he voted against against making Martin Luther King Day a holiday in 2004, more than you know, two decades after Ronald Reagan made it a federal holiday. You know, these are serious questions that will cause greater scrutiny, and there are going to be a lot more questions to answer, and a lot more reporting is being done in real but time. But now, right guys, now. guys, in fairness, though, he has not said he didn't know who David Duke is. He said he shaked his hand and has met him on several occasions. What he has said is that he didn't know this group was associated with David Duke. And today there was an interesting interview that came out in the Washington Post not too long ago that said that the guy who organized it, who organized this, if David Duke was living outside of the United mm -hmm. States back then, the guy who organized it, Kenny White, who was a political operative in Louisiana and was Scalise's neighbor, asked him to come to this. He spoke before the conference started, and he said he never told Scalise what this was about. He just asked yeah, him to say Anna. a few words before the conference started. So there's a difference between uh, this being Anna, a David Duke event I, and I'm, what I'm, it ended up being. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're wrong here. The campaign man, this is David Duke's campaign manager running a white nationalist organization. Uh, this is not a mystery. This is political pandering that's now caused major national blowback as it should.